the, the cool thing to be involved in. Yeah, I mean, Obama has made it his job to come to the young people where they are. Um, he's the first MySpace president, the first Facebook president, the first YouTube president. Wherever young people are, he came to them. I have to agree, it's exciting. But not everybody is, is all pumped about this. The election has brought out young people on both sides of the table. So I want to welcome Republicans Aaron and Teresa, as well as Democrats Sean and Kira to the show as well. Now, it, you guys aren't so excited about this, right? The media really appealed his image to young voters through Facebook, MySpace, and YouTube. So it became not only cool to get into politics, but it became even cooler to support Obama. So it built up all the social pressure for people who were, they said you were either with us or against us. Well, you, so you think people cave, Teresa? Do you think they cave? I, I definitely do. I think it became much more about celebrity than it did about politics, which I think is the problem. Because otherwise it would be a much more exciting election for people like us who are young conservatives and we, we want to engage people on the issues. We want to be talking about that, but it seemed like that was the last thing on people's list. They want to talk about um, hype words like hope and change and progress, and they didn't actually want to talk about anything policy related. Um, we were walking down Hollywood Boulevard last night and we we walked into a couple of the gift shops, and every single one of them has rhinestone Obama T-shirts that say the 44th president. And I, I doubt that that has happened um, in previous years. That uh, you can buy your Obama T-shirt right next to your Playboy T-shirt and your wrestling T-shirt at um, stores like Spencer's Gifts. And I think that that's kind of a sad state to say that we're we're putting Barack Obama right up there with Paris Hilton as but far as our think celebrity it's status. You think that they don't know the issues, and it's actually dangerous. I do. Yeah. I'd like to give an example of that. Overwhelmingly, the pro Proposition 8 supporters were in favor of Obama, but they just didn't know the issues. And when they found out that he was over, he clearly stated that he wasn't for gay marriage, they felt disenfranchised. And that's what happens when you appeal to image, but not the issues. You get that deception. And you guys disagree. You think that people do know what they're voting for? I would certainly say that. I mean, we're going through a huge economic crisis right now.